All right, every ad that plays, I get this one cent, and then when I keep getting more and more ads, hopefully it'll come out like this more cents. I only get one cent for each ad. If you don't let the ad play, I get nothing. One cent if you let the ad play. I don't get five cent an ad. I don't get paid ten cent an ad. And I don't get paid quarter an ad. I get paid one penny. One brown penny an ad. Thank you. Let the ads play. Brought to you by Popeye's Chicken. It tastes finger licking good, baby. I'm telling you. You got the mashed potatoes. You got the chicken legs. You got the biscuits. You got to have some biscuits, got it. And you got that old school apple pie. Woo! And everything up on there looking good at Popeye's. Back to your schedules viewing. Mr. Raffle. I ain't got no money, bitch. Mr. Raffle. We, we ain't dead yet. We, you, you, you ain't got no balls. You, you drown. You're a sector. Mr. Raffle. Shoes expensive. Brought to you by Popeye's Chicken. It tastes finger licking good, baby. I'm telling you. You got the mashed potatoes. You got the chicken legs. You got the biscuits. You gotta have some biscuits, goddammit. And you got that old school apple pie. Woo! And everything up on there looking good at Popeyes. After your schedule's viewing, Mr. Raffle. All right, baby, we going over these 500 joints. See the 500 bar. Easy 500 made by the Dita. Easy 500 made by the Dita. And there go the color. Wait, baby. So we gonna have to get it here. And you pull it out from here. This one gonna shoot, man. This one gonna shoot. This one gonna shoot. This one gonna shoot, man. All right, man. I can bring I got, I got, I got, I got, look, man. I got, look, man. I got gravy in here, man. Gravy all in the mambo. Yeah, you man. And look at that. I got bacon and chicken and apple pie, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is it, man. You can do it, baby. With this, too. Uh, baby, we got the bone white whizzies. Bone white yeezys. And uh, I got to say, I like it. I definitely like it. I like the 500 model. I think it's a slept on shoe in some ways. Uh, it's, I even slept on it. But let's get into it. The materials is nice on it also. Underneath, it's a mesh with these wide holes. You see from the back. And then on the side panel, it's the lateral. And you can see it on the medial. You got that piping, which is a reflective. Going around. And it goes all around from the one side to the next side all the way up on to the toe box so that piping going all the way to the back so the back all the way to the front that piping is reflective the material on the toe um toe box the suede a hairy suede it looks nice also on the eyelids is a hairy suede looks cool Underneath it is leather. See the leather there. See that back. You got that leather. You got that suede. This leather right here is actually a bone color. Probably on here, probably look like a little gray, but it's actually that same bone color. When you look at the light, it'll be the same color matching, kind of close to the suede there. <clears throat> this material right here, this is actually a material, but when you swing it straight, 
feels a little leatherish, but when you go from up to down, you really get to feel that it's actually a textile material, <coughs> some type of linen type look to me. Underneath there is that leather on that mud guard. So the mud guard consists of this leather, the piping first, then the leather, and then this material right here looking like a linen. The midsole is white. It's a white midsole. Actually, people say it's comfy. This is the, um, the name of, of that uh, midsole, Adidas Preen. People say it's comfortable. These remind me of uh, that, um, the Crazy Eights. That's what to me it reminds me of Crazy Eight. And then they just made it a little bit more looking like a dad shoe. The Crazy Eight was already bulky like a dad shoe. See the design inside the, um, the midsole. And then in the back is this type of design. So two designs on the midsole itself. Up on there. See on that toe, toe, on the toe cat. Same Dita. I like that with the three stripes. You can see right there on that medial. Uh, on StockX, these are going under retail. To, um, I think these are 200. You don't have to watch out for the inside because that cocaine white going to get dirty. I'm going to have to hurry up and get rid of it so this thing going to get messed up. Inside is that cocaine white lining, which I think they should have put a different color than white on the underneath the tongue. Inside, the um, insole looks a little bit of uh, maybe like a teal color. Maybe like a teal, some type of greenish color, like mint. Like a light mint inside there. So that's dope. On the tongue, they use a smaller mesh holes. And then on top of the tongue, they use a leather strap, like leather. And then they put this type material right here. I think it's suede. That's a little, the piping part on top of that leather on that tongue. So a person's mesh, then leather. And then they got this little type feeling like a suede type on top of it. On the tongue, so that's nice. And like I said, I think they sit pretty. And they sell it on the retail. <clears throat> One thing I don't like about StockX, I like StockX, because you can sell. But one thing I don't like about StockX is that at first it was just all about it being real. But now it's like it's starting to be known for under retail, where you can't really <laughs> make money at all because... If you paid 200 for these plus tax 220 and then they only selling these for like <laughs> maybe 220 but you got to realize StockX get their money out of that. And out of that, it'd be like about $30. And then when you're selling it for the 300 for the 700 they they'd be like $30-something dollars. So you can't make no profit. <laughs> so we the sellers got to stop letting them dictate. Since, um, they don't want to regulate it and say, hey, look. This is the price they charge, and we got to regulate and say, hey, look, we ain't going no cheaper than this. And if we do that, then we good. No extra string. Yeezy's got to cut that. That's cheap. But that's it. I got to say, I don't want the video to be long about the buggy. I think it's a nice pair of shoe. It's that uh, now, with, uh, you want to spray some stuff on there after a while, because you don't want nobody to, like black or get like puddle water on here or none of that. You know, definitely wouldn't want that. So. That's about it. Nothing you wouldn't want on these shoes is to have any deep. Like, that's why I want to help now and get rid of these stuff. Wear anything on it. Cause I see, like, even here, I don't like that. But that's easy. That's not me. So I'm about to get a boogie. I'm out of here. Peace. Popeye chicken is go. Man. Popeye chicken is go, bro. Final analysis on the 500 Bone White. Great shoe. 500 Model is a great shoe I like. I heard it's comfy. Also, those uh, October pink ones that's coming out, those are going to be nice. I want to try to get those. And uh, if you're trying to be selling, like for selling, getting these, no. You can't make no money off it. They're already sold out. So <clears throat> if you're buying it, you're just buying it to wear. And that's about it. But they look clean. Second of all, even the black one, which was the best one, the utility black. It's not going too much way over thing. So that would be the only one that could have made money. At, at this current time. But them pink ones I think is gonna make money. Peace. Rap. Popeye chicken is gold, man!
perfect 